This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and today we are revisiting the Bell Catalyst 300 bike lock. I featured this lock in yesterday's video where I showed that anyone who knows how to pick dimple locks could probably open this up very quickly. If you're interested in seeing that video, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. But what we're going to do today is see how this lock fares against a brute force attack. And unfortunately, Bell didn't do a whole lot particularly well in putting this together, so we have a lot of options. The first would be to test this shackle. It's prominently advertised as a 12 millimeter hardened steel shackle, so I put that to the test prior to starting this video, and I hit it with a file. And if we zoom in, you can see that I cut into that very deeply with the file. What that means to me is that this is not particularly well hardened, and I could probably cut through it without too much difficulty using a hacksaw or a larger pair of bolt cutters. The next potential vulnerability would be the core, or more specifically, how that core is attached to this outer steel tube. And now that we pull the plastic back, we can see the only thing holding it in is this little pin. That pin goes into the outer part of this core, which appears to be cast zinc. So if I were to put the slide hammer on this, I'd imagine I could quite easily pull that out and then open the lock. The final potential vulnerability is the locking mechanism. And if we zoom in on these locking lugs, you can see that they're not particularly thick. And I also tested them with a file and they don't appear to be hardened. What that means is that if we apply enough force to the shackle, we could probably pull the shackle right out of the locking mechanism. And the tool to do that would probably be our screw spreader. Prior to starting this video, what I did was take our screw spreader and insert a six inch hardened steel bolt rather than what we normally had, a little tiny little short bolt. And I think that should be enough to pull this shackle out. My only concern is that this attack might not be realistic, meaning whether or not we can fit that screw spreader in place when a bike is locked to a secure anchor point. So I actually took my own bike outside and tested it out. I tried to find a way in which I could lock the bike up where there wouldn't be enough room to insert this thin screw spreader. And unfortunately, I could not figure out a way. So it turns out my fears were completely unfounded. All of that said, let's take all this down to the garage and see if we can open this lock. Okay, we're out in the garage. I have the lock all locked up in the vise. So let's get the screw spreader in position and see if we can open this up. Okay. Okay, we're starting to get some resistance here. I hope I put this in the vise in a good way. I appear to be pulling out just a little bit. Whoa, that popped out pretty quickly. And uh, you can see that shackle opened up. We would be able to take that right off of the lock. So that was a bit of a surprise. It looks like we have a tiny little bit of the shackle down here. Let's zoom in on this so you can see it. You can see that just sheared right off. Frankly, I was expecting it to give a little bit more gradually, so I guess that, that locking lug was a little more hardened than I thought it was, but in any case, we got in and the screw spreader wins again. That's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.